What's up internet marketers, it's like Paws, and in this video tutorial guide, I'm gonna show you how to create print-on-demand products quickly and easily using Canva for free and GIMP, again, 100% for free. So, like I showed you earlier, um, maybe you've seen this Birthday Empire, it's a method and product where the creator, Alexandro, shows you how to create birthday cards that you can actually sell off of your own site or on sites like Etsy, actually Etsy, okay, Etsy, you know Etsy, right? Etsy is a site where you can sell your handmade goods or print-on-demand goods. You can source them from this from different sites, ch such as Teespring, if you want to make mugs or t-shirts. Gearbubble, they have pretty much everything on Gearbubble, bags, whatever. You can slap on design, right? So print-on-demand, right? You find, for example, a keyword people are searching for that has a good search volume but low competition. Let's say it's pink dogs who drink coffee t-shirt, okay? You create a design. I'm going to show you how to do this in, in this video. Pink dog drinking coffee uh, using public domain images and you slap it on one of the different products here and you sell it. Okay, really good stuff. I do this. I, I make a passive income doing this as well. Uh, just like, um, uh, what's his face? Alexandro teaches within Birthday Empire. So, I'm, But one of the videos in this, in this course I think I could do a better job explaining it, and I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so Canva. Canva, 100%, no, it's not 100% free, but I just use the free version. You don't need the paid version, I don't use it. I don't see why you need it. I'm, I'm gonna show you how to remove the background from your uh, print-on-demand products or designs. Very important thing about Canva is you can create custom dimensions, really cool feature. A lot of people don't know this exists here, but it can. You can. It's a little little uh, link at the at the top right or towards the top uh, right area of Canva. You click. You click. You click on it, and you add in the dimensions of whatever you want to create. A lot of these different sites, such as Teespring, Gearbubble, they have different dimensions they want you to hit. They want you to target when you create your designs. I'm gonna just you off the top of my head. Uh, 2,000 by 3,000, a nice vertical image, okay? And I'm gonna create, for for this example, I'll create a little silly, funny birthday card. Let's say, for example, I found maybe a keyword, something to the effect, mobster birthday, funny birthday card or something, okay? So I wanna scroll down here. All these images that I, I've uploaded here, you can, up, you can upload your own images. I highly recommend either you have someone create the images for you or you get it public domain. Most of the images I use are public domain images. That means uh, no, one, no one has the rights to them, okay? So you can get the, the, one of the biggest sources for public domain images is a site called Pixabay, okay? So I'm gonna go to Pixabay real quick right here. Pixabay is a really good site. Any image you want, they probably have it, okay? So you take your images, you upload them to Canva, and you start designing, okay? Now, I'm no, I'm no designer. I don't have any skills. This is all drag and drop. That's how simple it is. So here's, here's a really cool uh, mobster-ish type of image I got off of Pixabay. I'm going to expand her out just like that. And I'm gonna just write happy birthday. I'm gonna click this button right here. Give me, maybe I want, a, not maybe, I do want a different font. Let's say I'm gonna go with Edo. Edo, change that font to Edo. I like Edo because it's nice, it's kind of, look, kind of extreme looking. I'm gonna change this to 200. Happy birthday. Day. I'm gonna drag it down. Write happy birthday. Boom. And uh, maybe we got something else, another image here I can use. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good as is. And you know what, I'm gonna use this broken heart. And just put in the center. Again, this is just for example's sake. Again, let's say I found a keyword with funny mobster birthday card. It has, you know, ideally at least 100 searches a day and um, it has, uh, sorry, 100 searches a month and very low competition. You know, 
I create this little birthday thing, little birthday card design. I click publish. I click download. Okay, and it's gonna download to my computer. That's where I move on to step two because a lot of these print on demand sites such as Gearbubble, Teespring, TeePublic, uh, Guten, they want you to remove the background, okay? Really important. Now, you can remove the background with Canva, but that's part of the pro or paid version, which I don't use and you don't need to use either because there's a free workaround. Check this. I'm gonna open my, cat, my GIMP, right? So again, you can go to GIMP, I believe it's GIMP.org, GIMP.org, download it. You got, uh, you got uh, versions for Mac and for PC. You get the one you need. Again, 100% free. And then you got your little GIMP uh, software playing in the background. You're gonna go to where the images that you just created using uh, Canva. That's not it. You're going to go to where that's at and you're gonna slide it on over into this little uh, rectangle square, a uh, rectangle here. Now, what we wanna remove is a background. It's very, very simple. Again, no design skills, right? All, all I've done so far is drag and drop, right? Nothing crazy. I wanna go over here to this bar section over here. This is part of GIMP. You wanna go to this little tool called Fuzzy, Fuzzy Wuzzy, you know, Fuzzy Select. Click Fuzzy Select, okay? You click Fuzzy Select, and you go on over to the image, check this out. Click on the background, the part you wanna get rid of, the white part in this example, right? And you can see there's gonna be a dotted line moving around the, the borders of the image, okay? You just click delete, it's that simple. And you just continue doing it until all of the background is gone. Check it out, but you gotta watch to the very end because something really important that you need to do to, to ensure this looks good, okay? You just continue doing it, boom. And you wanna get into the letters as well. So the A there, the P here has a white section. P here has a white section, just like the, oh, not that. Boom, okay. I don't wanna cut away anything. I wanna show you how simple it is, how easy you can create these uh, POD products. Again, you can stick them on mugs, on t-shirts, on anything, okay. Very versatile. And there's all types of things you can do. Okay, it just takes you like five minutes. If I wasn't explaining this, it'd take me less than five minutes. I'm sure you'd agree. So now you click File, click Export As. Okay, just like that. You want to make sure, very important, that it's .png. If you do, if you save it as a .jpg, .jpg, it will retain its background. Do not download it or export it as .jpg. Do it as a .png, okay? Export. Now I can add this image to whatever T-shirt I want and sell it online. You know, uh, you know, thinking. Of course, I'm thinking before I before I put it online. I, I got to make sure there's an actual keyword that that matches with the design I created, so that people will actually buy this. Okay, you just you don't want to create uh, POD products based on what you think is a good idea because you might get lucky, but most of the time you won't get lucky that way. So I recommend you create products based on what people are actually looking for. And that's what you do, it's very simple. Again, um, I highly recommend if you want a complete method on how to sell POD products, especially uh, birthday cards, okay? Which are really uh, private holidays for every, for every person on this planet, right? That's what a birthday is, it's basically a private holiday, a personal holiday. So, and, the, and they're happening every day. So if you want a complete method on how to do that, check that down below to get Birthday Empire plus my bonuses. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help, be it on YouTube or Facebook. I'm here to uh, answer your questions. Okay, be good, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe and talk to you later. Bye-bye.